So anyhow, I said, hey buddy, if you fasten that button any tighter, your aunt will be your uncle and your grandma will be your dad. Ah ha ha ha, ha ha. Oh George you're so funny. Well you're such easy company Jane. I haven't felt this comfortable on a first date in, in, well and never. You say the nicest things. I'm so happy Paul and Carrie suggested we go out. Carrie's been going on about how much we'd have in common for ages. Well Paul kept telling me about this beautiful single girl he knew who was completely my type. But I just thought he was trying to get me set up with someone because I was causing a miscount at the dinner party table. Ah ha ha ha. But seriously Jane, I've had a wonderful evening. Me too. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Oh wow. It's never closing time already? Afraid so. We ought to make a move. Okay. I'll walk you home, if that's okay. Of course it's okay. I don't want this night to end. I'll get the bill. Well, we're here. So soon. You could come up for a coffee if you like. I'd love to. If you're sure that's okay. I wouldn't say so if it wasn't silly. Okay then. It's just down here. What a, er, vibrant street you live on. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just the cops chasing the smackheads and the gangbangers. Smackheads? Gangbangers? Bloody druggies? Must have been dealing outside my flat again. Shall we go up? Er, yes, of course. Oh, my god Jane. You've been briggled, how awful. Brigild? What do you mean? Is something missing? I can't spot anything obvious. Mirror on the floor. Umbrella. Lace. No, everything's just as I left it. Not sure what you're talking about, silly Billy. Oh. Er. I must have got confused. Well, don't worry, my little love muffin. I'll just go make us a nice cup of coffee. You just sit down. And I'll be right back with you, stud. Er, don't go to any trouble. Phew is that the time, I probably ought to be going. Anyway, good night. Nonsense. You better sit the hell down, George, or else. Oh, K. Now you just stay here while I go and fix us that coffee. I will. Oh my god. She's a frickin' nutcase. She's probably putting roofies in my coffee as I sit here. I've got to get out of here. For crying out loud. What the hell was that? I suppose I really ought to make sure she's alright. Jane. What in God's name's happened? Oh nothing really. It's just the guy in the block opposite. I owe him 20 grand from a cocaine deal that went wrong, so he's just fired an RPG through my window. An RPG? Rocket propelled grenade. I know what an RPG is, I just didn't expect to be on the receiving end of one, on a first date. I don't know what you're so upset about. It was only a warning. Warning? Jane. I never did ask. How do you know Paula and Carrie? Didn't they tell you? No they didn't. Oh. Well he's my probation officer and she's my drug counselor. 